The most popular YouTubers are not just entertainers, they're also entrepreneurs. But not all the products they lend their names to are as great as their sub counts. So let's take a look at the worst YouTuber food brands. She has a YouTube channel? I know, right? Everybody has a YouTube channel. Phase Sub. What could FaZe Clan be doing with a restaurant? The FaZe Clan are a popular YouTube entertainment group of professional gamers slash esporters out of Los Angeles. The group first rose to prominence back in the early 2010s and went by the name FaZe Sniping. Since their humble beginnings, FaZe Clan has become an international phenomenon and a publicly traded company. FaZe Clan has also ventured into the lucrative world of partnerships and sponsorships, such as their 2019 partnership with Nissan, a DC Comics collab, and their partnership with Manchester City FC for content creation and clothing. With all the entrepreneurial endeavors FaZe Clan is involved in, why not take a chance and get into the lucrative food industry? Because you suck! Well, that's exactly what they did when the entertainment group introduced the world to FaZe Subs. A virtual sandwich brand working exclusively with DoorDash, FaZe Subs serves up interesting sandwiches for gamers and non-gamers alike. Unfortunately, these sandwich offerings likely looked better in the concept phase. Take the Rugfather sandwich, for example. The idea? Add potato chips as one of the sandwich ingredients. The result? Not so good. Named after popular FaZe Clan member FaZe Rug, the sandwich was supposed to be the perfect sandwich, combining the side and the sandwich together. The sandwich itself is a normal sandwich with turkey, lettuce, cheese, and FaZe sauce. The problem is the inner potato chip layer. What happens when you place crispy chips in a soggy environment? I'm soggy! Sway X Magic Spoon Cereal What's magic about him? Magic Spoon is a protein-based, better-for-you cereal that cuts carbs and sugar. The cereal is quite the phenomenon, so it makes sense that the cereal would attract another phenomenon to partner with. Sway House LA is a social media group of stars that launched back in 2020. The eight stars have let hijinks rule and have been involved in some controversy ever since. Uh-oh, here's trouble. But with popularity comes the eventual partnerships, and Magic Spoon came knocking on the Sway LA house door to bring the world some brand new Sway-inspired flavors. The limited edition cereal collab comes in two tasty flavors, chocolate peanut butter and jelly donut, which were inspired by the star's own nostalgic memories of childhood goodies. Unfortunately, the issue with the Sway Magic Spoon cereal isn't the flavor, it's the same problem that plagues all Magic Spoon cereal, the texture after you add milk. Eaten on its own, the jelly donut and choco peanut butter are tasty. However, upon adding milk, the cereal takes on a strange sticky texture, which makes you forget how tasty these Sway LA flavors are. It tastes better milk first. Milk first it is. Ninja Milk. Today we are going to be teaching you how to be ninja. Energy drinks are a multi-million dollar industry. From Red Bull to Rockstar to Monster, these drinks have given many energy-deprived folks the instant pep they need to get through the day. Of course, like most products, many energy drink brands have gone out of their way to not only be innovative, but also snatch celebrities up to do the all-important partnership slash collab with. Currently, the largest celebrity-endorsed energy drink is Zoa Energy, which is owned by the people's champ himself. Himself, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. However, several energy drink brands have been looking to YouTube and social media stars to partner up with. It's a YouTube thing! YouTube star Ryan Higa founded Ninja Milk in 2016. The YouTuber, famously known for his comedy channel Niga Higa, developed the energy drink with the goal of the product being the preeminent energy drink for millennials and Gen Z. Ninja Milk is made with some great ingredients like B vitamins and natural flavors, which is cool. Here's the problem. The main ingredient is carbonated milk. A carbonated milk-based energy drink seems like something you might think up after one puff too many. You might think a pothead looks like this. <laughs> <laughs> if you had to join the circus as a lion tamer or hit that subscribe button to become an official babble topper, which would you choose? So go ahead and smash it. Thanks. Annie Energy 
Nani? Speaking of energy drinks, Annie Energy burst onto the scene back in 2020. The brainchild of Josh Richards and Bryce Hall, who are best known for co-founding Talent X and founding Sway House, respectively, Annie Energy is not only advertised to boost your energy, but also to sharpen focus. The energy drink contains unique ingredients such as green coffee beans and other more common ingredients such as B vitamins. Annie comes with a great caffeine balance with more than the average soda, but less than other, more established energy drink brands. This is probably what you should be looking for in an energy drink, as too much caffeine is never a good idea. Annie is also low in sugar, so you don't have to be too worried about your waistline. Unfortunately, Annie Energy leaves quite a nasty aftertaste, particularly the black cherry flavor. Eye-catching pastel colors are not enough to distract from an <laughs> eye-watering aftertaste. I don't care for the mild berry aftertaste. Ninja Tea I drink fast. Tea often gets overlooked when it comes to drinks. Americans and most of the Western world in general, except for the UK, tend to favor coffee over tea, even when it comes to cold drinks. Back in the day, iced tea was the undisputed king of cold, caffeinated drinks that were normally served warm. Then iced coffee burst onto the scene, and iced tea hasn't been the same since. However, Ryan Higa thought it was time to give the once popular iced drink a much needed overhaul. Higa once again makes an appearance with another ninja product. This time around, it's Ninja Tea. Ninjas attack! The popular YouTuber's brand of tea isn't ordinary tea, it's energy tea. Yes, Ninja Tea is a supercharged green tea with 120 milligrams of caffeine, zero sugar, and L-theanine, which helps relieve stress. Though that seems a bit counterproductive for an energy drink. Unfortunately, perhaps due to the extra caffeine, Ninja Tea has a pronounced bitterness that may have you wishing you purchased a classic iced tea instead. It seems tea will have to continue to sit in coffee's dark and rich shadow for at least a little while longer. Green bono jutsu! Huh? No! ILY Pizza. I love, uh, I love pizza. Sarah Baska's popular brand of comedic videos has made the YouTuber a social media star. With over a million subscribers and three million followers on Vine, Baska has amassed a huge fan base, perhaps even as large as her famous father, former Denver Broncos linebacker Rich Baska. Like most modern YouTube slash social media stars, Baska has decided to travel beyond YouTube and try her hand at other lucrative creative ventures. In this case, the pizza business, the heart shaped pizza business to be exact. Yes, Sarah's savory pie comes in the shape of a heart and looks as delicious as any pizza you'll find at your favorite pizzeria. You see that it's shaped like a heart. Baska's brand also offers hot wings because you can't serve up pizza without wings. Unfortunately, consumers of the heart-shaped pizza have compared it to that of the frozen pizza variety, at least as when it comes to the crust, with some folks who have sampled the product concluding that while the toppings are fresh, the crust isn't fooling anyone. If you feel the urge to sample some of Sarah's food, it seems that your best bet is to order the spicy wings, as most seem to agree that the wings are are a win. Everyone want a chicken wing? Prime. First round questions are all about Logan Paul. Prime Hydration is the latest sports drink to burst onto the scene, with popular or infamous YouTubers slash influencers slash boxers slash, you get the point, Logan Paul and KSI behind the marketing of the drink, Prime skyrocketed to the top of the sports drink sales charts, rivaling the likes of Gatorade and other popular established sports drinks. Once the YouTube duo decided to stop being rivals and became business partners, the already wealthy tag team became even wealthier. Prime comes in a variety of flavors and, for the most part, was initially received fairly well, especially by young people. Unfortunately, the product isn't all it's cracked up to be, as many consumers are beginning to report. First off, the hydration drink doesn't seem to be a very good hydrator. Yes, Prime has less sugar than Gatorade, which Logan himself has stated, Gatorade not only quenches your thirst better, 
It tastes better too. However, additional glucose in a sports drink is added by choice for function, as glucose aids with electrolyte absorption. Reducing the sugar may seem like a good idea until you realize that these drinks aren't meant for regular everyday consumption, but are made for post-workout hydration. To make matters worse, the fact that the drink is linked to sometimes controversial Logan Paul is negatively affecting the brand, as Paul's recent crypto scam controversy is doing the product no favors. Crypto is the future of money. Keith's Chicken Sauce Chicken and chicken sauce. Keith Habersberger of Try Guys fame has an affinity for fried chicken. And who on this planet can blame him? Fried chicken is the perfect amount of crunch and deep fried goodness that has made it a surefire crowd pleaser for decades. But what's fried chicken without a good sauce? Of course, hot sauce is a given for fried chicken, as is honey mustard. However, as far as Habersberger is concerned, there's more to life than your average chicken sauce. That's where Keith's chicken sauce comes to the rescue. The popular YouTuber has taken it upon himself to create his own line of chicken sauces. However, Habersberger isn't in this alone. Mm, saucy. Teaming up with Heatonist, the partnership has produced a sauce worthy enough to bear the YouTuber's name. Keith's Chicken Sauce has flavors like ranch with dill, maple syrup, serrano peppers, and a medley of other flavors to tantalize taste buds and bring chicken to the next level. Yeah, about that. While Keith's Chicken Sauce is fine, it isn't going to blow your hair back. Most find that out of the three sauces available, the others being burger and taco, the chicken sauce seems to be the best. However, don't let the internet hype fool you, as this sauce won't be knocking Frank's or any other popular brand off their podium anytime soon. If you visit the official website, you'll read that the chicken sauce apparently pairs well with grilled cheese and even pizza. So maybe avoid using the sauce for what it actually was intended for and take their advice? Strange. Putting hot sauce on everything. G Fuel and PewDiePie There's no drink that beats a cold G Fuel. What is it with energy drink brands teaming up with YouTubers? Yet another energy drink brand that ventured over to YouTube for a celeb partnership, and this particular YouTuber has seen his share of highs and lows. PewDiePie burst onto the scene back in 2010. Racking up a ridiculous number of views with his Let's Play content, the YouTuber quickly amassed a large fan base and has over 100 million subscribers at this point. That kind of popularity is bound to attract the attention of brand marketing departments, brands like G Fuel. G Fuel is not your average run-of-the-mill energy drink, as the brand comes in powder drink packs that you mix into your own water. The company debuted around the same time as PewDiePie and has since offered its products in pre-made can form, and even caffeine-free hydration drinks. So how did the YouTube giant and the energy drink brand come together? Perhaps because they both burst onto the scene around the same time? Who knows? Watch video to find out. Whatever the case, G Fuel has partnered with PewDiePie to bring energy drink lovers the PewDiePie Collection. This collection features G Fuel PewDiePie lingonberry flavor in both a small 3-pack and a 9.9-ounce tub. What's not to love? Well, for the most part, G Fuel's PewDiePie lingonberry is not bad. The only issue is the flavor is quite tart, so if you're not a fan of sour, you should probably avoid this one. I got cancelled once again. Mr. Beast Chicken Sandwich I know it's called Mr. Beast Burger, but I'm really excited to see what their crispy chicken is like. When it comes to YouTubers, you'd be hard-pressed to find a bigger star than Mr. Beast. The YouTube phenom has been credited with pioneering an entire genre of YouTube videos and is nearing the 200 million subscribers mark. Mr. Beast is the second most subscribed channel on YouTube, with only the Indian YouTube channel T-Series having more subs. Suffice it to say, the man is pretty popular. However, Mr. Beast has started to branch out beyond the world of YouTube with a handful of entrepreneurial ventures, including a line of food products. The most prominent of these products is Mr. Beast Burger. The virtual burger joint serves up a medley of classic fast food items such as burgers, fries, and chicken sandwiches. Unfortunately, the chicken sandwiches Mr. Beast Burger is offering are less than stellar. I've had better. 
Due to an overall lack of quality, the Mr. Beast chicken sandwich will not be giving Chick-fil-A or any of the popular chicken chains a run for their money anytime soon. Unfortunately, the Ghost Kitchens, the popular YouTuber used to produce Mr. Beast Burger, has been less concerned with the quality of the products, which has caused Mr. Beast himself to sue the partner company, stating that the kitchen is damaging his reputation with the subpar items. Perhaps visit Popeyes and grab a chicken sandwich until Mr. Beast figures things out. Do that first. Stick around, tap or click for another great video, and if new to our channel, show us some love and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell.